investing in the stock market is not a sprint. It is a marathon. And you need certain things to help you go the long way. I am Isaro Mano, and today I'll be discussing six steps you need to take to succeed in investing in the stock market. Before I jump into the six steps, I will encourage every one of you to subscribe to my channel, smash the notification bell, and do hit that like button as well because it does help the YouTube algorithm. Now, what are the steps you need to take before investing in the stock market? The number one is for you to understand your why. Why do you want to invest in the stock market? What's that driving force? What's pushing you to invest in the stock market? You see, if you don't understand your why, there's a tendency that you will not succeed in the marketplace. Why do you want to invest in the stock market? I had my reasons and they are simple. I want to retire early and I want an additional stream of income. So the stock market gives me passive earnings and also it gives me the ability to retire early. That's my plan. That's my, that's my why. That is why I want to invest in the stock market. So you need to ask yourself, why do you want to invest in the stock market? Is it that you want to earn passively or you want to use it as a retirement plan where you can save up money? Or what exactly do you want? Do you, do you want a quick cash where you can trade every day because you don't have your, a job or you're losing your job? What exactly is driving you? What is your why? You need to identify your why before you start thinking of investing in the marketplace. Two is for you to have a plan. You see, if you have a why and you don't have a plan, there's no way you can achieve your why. They say he who fills the plan, plans to fill. And when you plan, everything becomes easy. So when you have your why, if you know it, you are in this for the long game, then you should have a plan on how to stay and how to go the long way. Have a plan that goes with your why. Why are you doing this? And how do I achieve this? How long do I want to invest? Do I want to invest for five years? Do I want to invest for 10 years? Do I want to put 10% of my wages? Do I want to put 20%? You need to have a plan in place to support your why. Now, the third on the, li on the list will be for you to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and smash that like button. On a serious note, that's the third one. No, just joking. <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so the third on the list is for you to have savings in the bank for rainy days. Now, it sounds contradictory, to be honest with yourself, like we're asking you to, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you to invest and at the same time telling you to have money in the bank. Yes, it's, it's best for you to have money in the bank. There are different ways people hold cash. And one of the ways you hold cash, one of the reasons you hold money is for unforeseen circumstances. So you don't want to invest all your money and don't have money to do certain things you need to do. Like you may be driving down the road right now and your car has a flat tire. You need to buy a brand new car, a, a, a brand new tire rather. You need money to do that. Or your battery is flat. You need to replace your battery. You need money for that. Or let's say the worst case scenario, you lose your job. It takes a period of time for you to bounce back. You need money to help you during this time. You don't want to put all your resources in the stock market. And then when these little things happen, you are thinking of taking your money out of the stock market to foot this bill. Now, the reason why the reason I'm saying this is, you see, the stock market is sometimes very, it, not sometimes, is a volatile place. Prices go up and they go down. Certain things happen and the price may go down. And you may go back there the next day or two or in three months and it's back up again. So you don't want to go, you, you, don't, you don't want to be trapped for cash and 
you want money urgently, you go into the stock market when the price is down. This means you'll be losing your investment. You'll be losing money at that point in time. So you want to take out your money when the price is up for you to make profit. So, so you don't want to be trapped for cash and, and you can't wait. And then you lose money. So this is why you need money in the bank. So when things are difficult, you know you don't have to go into your investment. And even if you have to go into your investment, is when it is right for you to sell. That's it. So you need money for rainy days. You need money in the bank for rainy days. Advisable, three to six months in the bank, at least, to help you get back on your feet when there's trials and tribulation before you start thinking of going into your investments. Number four will be for you to pay every debt, every loan you owe, loans that are of high interest, loans that do not bring money back, like your credit card loans, your credit union loans, cooperative loans, the bank loans, all the loans that are not bringing money. You need to clear that first before you invest in the stock market. To be honest, like there's, it doesn't make sense you investing in the stock market and paying high interest loan. Wipe that out. No, you're done with that. So you have money to invest in the stock market. That's the best way to do it. Now, there are some good loans out there. Like, obviously, you have loans for mortgage or for business investment, even if you're not making profit yet. It's something that will result in money coming into your bank account in the future that's a good good loan to keep but all the loans you took when you were going for holiday or when you had a party the loans you took to buy that nike shoe all the stuff you need to pay off that loan first before you jump into stock market investing or any investment it makes sense that way rather than you feeding a loan and yet investing money it doesn't make sense that way so just clear that loan now number five very easy the number five i think is one of the easiest thing you can do right now and it's just for you to subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell and smash that like button that's the number five to be serious <laughs> joking okay number five will be for you to learn i can't stress this enough you need to learn. You need to learn how to invest in the stock market. Like I'm begging you here. You need to learn. To be honest with you, like I'm doing this myself. There's no one that I, I don't I, I did not I did not read finance in school. I never studied finance. I don't have a finance degree. Yeah, I don't have um a business degree, but I never worked in the Wall Street before. <laughs> like I've, I've, I've never rang a bell before in the stock market. Like we've seen wolves of Wall Street and how they do it there and all the stuff like where they go mental selling. Or, no, I don't have any experience in that. The only experience I have is reading books, watching YouTube videos, learning, learning, learning. And I keep learning every day. And every day I learn. I learn things every day. Like I could, I watch the um, CNBC every day and there are certain things that say there and i'm like oh, what does this mean then i research using my phone what what do they mean here what's going on why is this stuff going up why is this stuff going down i learned these things there, there are so many things there are so many lingos and terminology that is out there that if you do not learn you'll be confused and if you're not willing to learn you may end up paying unnecessary fees to financial advisors like if you decide to learn, you, you'll find out that it's easy for you to understand PE ratios. It's easy for you to understand companies' assets as against liability, who the CEO is, like what price are they selling for right now. You understand the market cap. Easy things. You understand the difference between bonds, ETFs, and stock. There are so many things that you can learn, and these things are easy terminology, easy things for you to together with just one app. Things like Yahoo Finance, you understand how to read Yahoo Finance, how to read a company's financial statement for you to know if it's a right investment 
to make. These are things you can learn easily. And all you just need to do is watch, spend 10 minutes a day watching YouTube video. You find out that that 10 minutes will be better off than you're not watching that YouTube video if you want to get into stock investment. It's easy peasy. I sit a day, like hours a day, watching videos, learning, reading, learn, 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 and you'll be an expert in no time. You need to understand the best app to use. If you're in Europe, how do you buy shares in America? How do you buy shares in Canada, in Germany? How do you build a portfolio? How to, how to buy the right share at the right price? These are things you need to know. So just learn. That's the fifth one you need to learn. Now, the sixth one is you can start little. You don't have to have a lump sum of money to jump into the stock market. This is not real estate. And then real estate, like before you can get a house, you need about 10 to 20% deposit, depending on the country you reside in. And then when you have this deposit, this is, um, when it, this 10 to 20 percent is not, is, it, we're not talking about um, um, small fees and all the stuff. We're looking at houses worth 200,000 and you need 10 percent. So you need about 20,000 to 25,000 before you can jump into real estate and, and the likes. Now, with stock market, you can start with as low as $50, $20. You can go in anytime you want to. Like I said, one of the way I invest is I have a certain amount of money I put in the stock market every month because I don't have the lump sum. I wait to get paid. And as soon as I get paid, I know that, okay, this certain percent is going into my investment. So that's the beauty of our stock market. With as low as 50 quid, you can decide to buy shares in the bank you bank with. Like you can decide to say, I want to buy shares in in uh, in. And the apps I use, like if you use an iPhone, for example, you could decide that every month I want to buy one share of Apple. You know, you're using a product you own a piece of. If you get what I mean. And Apple currently, as at the time I'm making this video, Apple is selling for 115. So that's you putting 115 every month for Apple. That you owning part of that company. So you don't need so much money for you to jump into um, stock market investment. Like the bank I bank with, the share is about 270 as at the time of me making this video, 2 euro and 70 cents as at the time of me making this video. I started investing in this particular share when it was 170. Now I'm one euro up in profit. But I feel good because I know this is the bank I bank with. And every time I go in there, I know, oh, I want a piece of this. So this, 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 you can start little. You can start with, imagine you're walking into your bank and your bank is selling for one euro, for example. With 50 euro, you can buy 50 shares of your bank. And in 10 months, you're looking at 500 shares of your bank shares. And that may go up. I'm just giving an example right now. So these are things you need to put in place. These are things you need to know. Once you understand your why, you have a good plan. You've paid your debt and you have money in bank. You can just invest little by little. And you need to just learn. That's all it takes. So these are the six guiding principles that are helping me in my investment journey. Now, I always see it this way. There's power in the tongue. The more you talk about it, the more likely you will do it. So start talking about the investment. Start talking about the shares and the company you want to invest in. And you'll find out that in no time, you start investing in this company. Mm -hmm.